Well, it was tough. Uh, we played against uh, one very good team, physically strong. Uh, tough to beat and actually seeing the fact that they were coming after seven victories in a row series so it was it was not easy especially the the first game to to beat them in Fatorda it was quite an achievement uh, you know it's quite different when you play uh, uh, the competition like ISL and fighting for points and then when you enter playoffs and fighting in the knockout phase in a 180 minutes game where you have to manage the things differently than a competition. So we had to take in consideration many different things uh, in those two games. We approached the games, uh, let's say, on an uh, intelligent way. We knew what key players we have to close down. We knew how and where to, to press them, how to be organized, how to defend, how not to allow them to create the things that they wanted to create, especially the avoiding uh, pressure on our last line. We knew that it will be tough games. We knew that it, uh, that both games will be, you know, with the ugly football because that's the way they play. That's the way they want to break down the opponents. That's the way they broke down, actually, many opponents in the league. Even we, we lost uh, one game uh, heavily uh, in, a, in a competition. And then from all those moments, you try to analyze and take out the best, best things you can in order to win the next one. So, and I think that we managed it uh, on, on a correct way, especially the first game where we get that advantage. And now in the, in the second game, it was the uh, moment of how to go through the game, trying not to be uh, frustrated. And... Uh, wanting to be organized uh, and uh, qualified. So that was our objective, that was our goal. So we had good chances in the last night game to, to score some goals in the first half, in the second half, where we had to be more clinical, more efficient. But at the end, of course, we are happy to, to have qualified for the finals. We have to uh, be honest, uh, everybody is saying that we started our preseason uh, early. And everybody is now using that saying, yeah, but uh, Kerala Blaster started uh, it earlier. Yes, but everybody can start earlier. So we wanted last year when we started to check out many things, to check out our B team, some youngsters, and then with the correct approach, sign important players who can make a difference. So with our approach and a training program, I think that we've achieved a certain level where actually still now we are managing to to put our opponents under pressure, to keep the rhythm of the game, to, to run the let's say, the total part of the game, being on top of the game, uh, not suffering on a fitness level, and actually hats off to our uh, uh, conditional coach, medical staff, and all the other people managing all those things. We were happy with our fitness level throughout the whole season, even uh, with the COVID outbreak later on, where we actually had to go uh, to reset and then build up again uh, the things that were very important. So now again, we are back in a, in a good shape with, the, uh, let's say, warmer days now and uh, more humidity. It's more and more difficult, but yet we are, uh, we are in a shape. We are uh, managing our games. There is one more to go, especially after the New Year's. It was not easy because there was no time to practice normally because back-to-back -back games in uh, ISL calendar oblige you to, to stay in a shape, to stay in a rhythm. Many teams who did not uh, have that proper pre-season period, they were suffering and they had uh, many injured players. Uh, our team as well, we had some injuries, but we, uh, we managed to go through all these difficulties and uh, be on top of that. And uh, today we are in the finals, I think, deserved. And of course, it makes us happy at the end, you know, being here and seeing boys doing it uh, with full power and every game giving the maximum out of them. And Luna is a great player. He's a great guy, great personality to be uh, within a team. You know, we, uh, we were last year ha uh, very happy uh, when we signed him because we knew that he can bring something extra. If we go back and you can find in my previous interviews last year that where I was saying that actually Luna can be one of the best players of the ISL, that he will uh, really leave his trace in, uh, in this league, that everybody will be happy with his performances and uh, with his uh, style. And we see with his goals that 
they're marvelous you know they're all jams and they are he he's a guy who can uh, who can mix up the things who can uh, who can score goals from uh, you know the positions where, where no one expects so and he's the guy who is like giving the power to other players pushing the others uh, forward you know giving great example and as a great leader it's it's really marvelous to have in uh, in a team so hopefully that he will repeat some similar things in the finals and that we will close down this season with the beauty but, well you know it was the uh, our idea was to press to continue our, the thing that we wanted to do and then you know again the frustration about referee's decision which is like it, it happens throughout the whole season again last night there was this foul on Cabra in the corner. We didn't get that foul. From that situation, there is a corner against us. From that corner, they scored with a handball. So, and then you got frustrated. You got frustrated. So, of course, I have to apologize also for my behavior. But sometimes with those emotions, you know, when you get in clinch with the referees, how, how they do not react on those things, it makes you frustrated. Hope that for the next season or in the future, the people from ISL will consider many things to, uh, to change when we speak about uh, referees level or to try to improve them. How? I don't know. It's, it's up to them. Or about VRR technologies, gold technologies, whatever. But it must be improved. Otherwise, the level of ISL will not improve. So the coaching staff, players, uh, all of us guys, we will do all the best possible to go, let's say, to go higher, to improve, to be better. But if the level of referees will be poor like this uh, season with the uh, poor decision making and everything the level will be bad and then there will be more and more frustrated people there will be more frustrations there will be more negativity and then you know the, the ranking at the end of the league will not be correct i think that many teams were at the bad end of uh, these poor decisions this season that probably we should have we could have seen a uh, different ranking this season but anyway hope that the people from isl they are uh, honest to themselves, they are uh, correct and they see that it was not that good and that it must be improved. So for the next season, I hope that it will be the case. These guys, they are good guys, referees, they are uh, uh, good personalities and I believe that they want to do their best. But sometimes it must, you know, education is key to everything. They have to improve, they have to do the things on a better way and hopefully that the ISL uh, league level will um, uh, increase and everybody will be happy happier because of that. So, you know, our goal in the second half was to, to press, to continue uh, the way we wanted to play. But then you got cut with those things and then you got frustrated. You have to change the approach. You have to change the energy. You have to manage the things on a different way. And sometimes it changes completely the game. But we had the force. We had the strength to hold, uh, hold up till the end. We had some good chances in the second half as well, more than our opponents, to score more goals, we had to be more clinical, we had to be more efficient in front of the goal, more concentrated, to actually to score that goal and to kill the game and be, uh, be easy till the end of the game. But, you know, I, somehow this season, not the one game was easy. Not the one game was uh, uh, relaxed and uh, all the games we had to fight from the first till the last moment. We had to fight for our points, we had to fight for our pos uh, position and Yet again, yesterday we had to fight for the finals. So now we are in the finals and in the finals we will have to fight. So that's it. You know, I'm, I'm very proud, proud and uh, happy as a coach and all of us as a coaching staff, seeing that the boys, uh, they don't back down, they don't step, step back uh, while defending. You know, it means that the boys, they know the task, they know the job. So they never panic, they never confused. And in those situations, you know, when you are concentrating and focused, I, I repeat those things uh, very often, then you don't have to worry. We were not worried because we believed yesterday that the boys, they know the job, they know how to organize, they know how to defend, they know how to stop the attacks, they know how to defend when there is a ball from a side, they know how to defend when the ball is coming from a central position. So all these things, when you are organized and together as a team, it gives you more energy, it gives you more power to defend in those uh, difficult moments. So yesterday, actually most of the time yesterday I was sitting because I was not worried, you know. At the end, we had those chances, we wanted to explore then in our counter-attacks at the end. But, you know, till the last moment, we were cool. I think we were cool, we were happy and uh, somehow we got that feeling that we will go through. Anyway, it was not easy. Again, 
but now it's up to us to refresh, to, to relax a little bit, to, to enjoy the moment, to enjoy the last week in Goa, you know, till the finals, to prepare for the finals, because we still didn't win n nothing, you know. We have to stay humble, we have to stay focused and concentrated. Sunday will be a nice game, it will be a joy, there will be, uh, there will be many fans, you know, we are so happy that they will come to support us. We are uh, so happy, uh, you know, that we, we will see them uh, coming to see that Yellow Sea, it will be huge uh, motivation for us. So, you know, we are not worried. We are not worried with that kind of support and everything we achieved this season all together. We are not worried going into that finals and, you know, let the better team wins. We'll try to do our best to make them happy. Look, I, it's everything, you know, the, 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 the meaning of having that huge army of fans, you know, in this, um, these circumstances, especially now after two years, I think, without fans playing in empty, empty stadiums, it's not easy, it's not nice, you don't get the feeling that you are playing a competition. Now, knowing the fact that there will be fans, it's, it's huge, it's immense, it's the thing, you know, all the players, when you start playing, you dream about playing in front of huge crowd. You dream about uh, playing in front of big stadiums, and uh, because the football we played for the fans, you know, we don't play it for ourselves. We play for the fans because they deserve to to see that, and I think our fans they deserve to see us now in finals because it's been now a long time. They were suffering also with all the disappointments in all the previous years, so I think that now they are happy. They will be motivated to come and support us and we will be very happy to see them.